Welcome back to the channel. I am alive and getting over this crap. Some kind of flu-like stuff, and I'm going to tell you what, it was hard to get over. I want to go ahead and thank everybody that's been praying for me and caring enough to go ahead and post on the community forum or just thought about me at all through this sickness and my family. So thank y'all in advance. I got a story to tell y'all, and I hope y'all hang around to the end. This will let you know how corrupt people is out in public when you go somewhere. To me, it was a funny story. It was really hilarious. And my wife is involved on this too. Let's go ahead and start at the beginning. I was in the post office when a man was hitting up a woman and acting like he could not talk and he could not hear. He was like pointing at a piece of paper and he had a pencil in his hand and he was looking at the woman's stuff and he was writing. She said, so you're wanting money? He was like, right there, right there. He would not answer that. She said, you can't talk and you cannot hear. You can't do that. He was like, no. And I've seen this guy before. This guy can talk and he can't hear. But he didn't know I knew that. I didn't see him a whole lot. But he, I've seen him pretend, playing games like that trying to bum money before. But anyway, she did not give him none. But another guy looked like a cattle rancher come by and everything. And he hit him up too. And I was on the other side over here. And I knew when I walked by. It was going to be my turn. He's going to hit me right up. And I thought about it. I thought, what am I going to say to this guy right here? Because I know he's just pretending. And I was laughing a little bit. And I tipped the other guy off. I will say this. I tipped one of the guys off and told him, I said, that guy right there can hear and he can talk. He's just playing games. He's like, I know. He said, I know that he can. Well, anyway, he got to my turn or whatever. And uh, the guy come up to me and everything. He was like, started he wouldn't do nothing. He's like, can't talk and all that right there. He didn't say nothing. Can't hear. And he already had this rope down and everything. And it said, I need money and stuff. And he handed it to me. And that's exactly what it said. I need money. I said, you can't talk and you can't uh, hear nothing. He said, all that right there. And I, I did not mean to do this, but I sort of cracked a grin and everything. But I tried to play this part real good with him. And I said, I'll tell you what. My wife is out there in the car right now. And I don't have a dollar in my name, which I told the truth. My billfold was in the car, and all I had was in my debit card. I said, if you could tell my wife this story or hand that piece of paper to her and everything, and uh, if you can convince her and everything, go ahead. Just come on out here. So he followed me out there. He was smiling and everything. And uh, that piece of paper, he had $5 underneath that piece of paper. Somebody gave him five $1 bills. Okay. I told my wife, open the door, and she just looked funny. I said, this guy right here is wanting to talk to you and everything. He's needing some money. I'm going to let him explain everything to you. I said, but he says he can't talk and he can't hear. This is more or less awareness. I was going to just see how my wife reacted to this right here. I mean, to me, it was a little funny. But <laughs> the reaction was a lot more than I was expecting, to tell you the truth. Her eyes got that big around. It's just like it caught her off guard. But anyway, uh, I told her, I said, he, I told her, couldn't hear, couldn't speak. So she's not easy to fool. I know y'all know that. Y'all know her well enough. She's not easy to fool. Well, anyway, I said, go ahead and hand her the piece of paper and uh, what what you want her to read. And uh, he wouldn't hand it to her. He went like that right there close to her because the $5, five $1 bills and everything was, he put them down below the note. And he was trying to hide the five $1 bills and everything. And in his mind, he thought if he handed it over, she might take the money. <laughs> it was just hilarious watching both of them talk, even though he was not talking. He was just acting like he could talk or hear. He was doing the same thing with her and just out there, out there. So anyway, she told him, she said, I don't have no money to give you. And uh, I don't have no cash on me. And she hadn't got through halfway and he blowed up and got mad and just started shaking his head and started walking off. And I said, behind him and everything, I was like, you really can't talk or hear. And he had like, he didn't hear me, kept on walking and everything. Then he got almost to the door and everything. I said, Hey, you dropped your billfold out loud and he turned around and looked and he realized he didn't have no billfold or nothing like that out there. But my wife, it was prices. It was like a cut at that moment. Y'all would have had to see it. I know it sounds a little mean, but 
I mean, and she told me, she said, I was going to tell him before he cut me off and got mad. She, she was going to tell him if he really needs some food, she's going to give him some food and stuff. She was just more or less filling him out to see. Because the caller saw off guard me bring him out there to the car. He was standing beside me and everything. I would protect her if anything went down. I did, he had a massive temper and stuff like that out there. And you could tell he was on drugs and alcohol. So I know all the money he's going to be getting him for that day. He's going to be drinking and getting some drugs for coming up with no money for that. He had five bucks. I know that. But to me, it was a good awareness for her and stuff. Let me know comments what you think. Now, we'll tell you all this right now. If my wife right now, she's she's over right now. She said she's going to take a shower. I was going to get her to help me with this video too, y'all. But she said, I need to take a shower and everything. And I just ain't able to do it right now. So we've all been sick. I know y'all know that. We all ended up coming down with this. It was a crazy light flu, like an old-timey flu. But I think I'm going to beat it. And I think everybody else is too. But it's been pretty rough. So I just want to share that story with you. Be ready. Be on guard. I'm telling you right now. It may be some of the craziest stories to make you feel sorry for them. I know there is people really in need, and it's messing all them up. But this guy right here was not even a good con artist whatsoever. We called him an act. Thanks for watching. Thanks for caring, and see you in the next video.